this being my first visit to Oklahoma, it, uh, you all are doing well by your state by giving me such a fabulous introduction to the people and the institutions of this great state. Uh, like Ella said, my name is Jesse Tolkien, and I have the honor of serving as the executive director of the Energy Action Coalition. And I wanna start this morning by talking a little bit about the organization that I am proud to be the head of, because I think it exemplifies uh, a core message that I want to impart on all of you today, which is the power of young people to make transformative change, and not only the power, but the absolute responsibility that we as a generation have to step up and to take control and to make sure that we're ushering our local communities and our states and our country in the direction we need it to go. Uh, the Energy Action Coalition started about four and a half years ago, and it was founded by young people. We were in a place in this country where we saw uh, the federal government doing almost nothing on the issue of climate change and sustainability and, and really tackling our energy crisis. As we looked across the country, we saw state governments that really weren't taking much action either. And we as young people, as a generation that was inheriting this physical planet, inheriting this economy, saw that there was a problem that wasn't being addressed, that our so-called leaders were failing to take the aggressive steps necessary to make change. And so a number of young people from across the country, from the Northwest and the Southwest and the Northeast and the middle part of this country, started thinking about what they could do, what they could take into their own hands to really jumpstart some action in this country. And they started thinking about the power that they had as students on college campuses to not only demand action from our political officials and demand action from our federal government, but to actually model solutions. And so four and a half years ago, they decided to form the Energy Action Coalition. College students like yourselves in the audience today came together and said, the challenges of fighting global climate change the challenges of totally reworking our energy system and rebuilding our economy. These, these are the defining challenges of our time. So let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's think of a campaign where we could literally transform our educational institutions around the country to be models of what we think the future should look like. Who cares if the federal government's not acting? We're gonna take things into our own hands. And that's exactly what happened. When the Energy Action Coalition formed four and a half years ago, we launched a campaign called the Campus Climate Challenge. And the goal was simple. The goal was to support young leaders on their college campuses to transform their institutions into models of the clean and sustainable future by asking their college presidents to commit to bold action by investing in wind energy, by transforming transportation systems on campus, by asking universities to educate their students on practices of sustainability, by constructing windmills on campus. At first, it was, it was tough. We had only a couple of campuses that were engaging in this fight. One here, one there. Four and a half years later, there are more than one thousand college campuses across the country that have worked to pass some kind of sustainability plan on their campus, all led by students. Four and a half years later, there are more than 550 college presidents in this country that have committed their institution to going climate neutral, carbon neutral, meaning there'll be no carbon emissions from their campuses. That is because of the leadership of students. Four and a half years later, there are more than half a million young people in this country that have committed to not only transforming their local institution, but to getting politically active and influencing their state legislatures and their federal elected officials. That is some power. And that started with the action of young people like all of you in this room today. I'm gonna come back to the role that you all play in this greatest challenge of our time, the challenge of a generation, in a minute. But I want to talk 
for a second about what is happening in our country right now. Um, I, I've noted many times already this morning and on my drive in from the airport last night that as a young person, I actually believe this is the single most exciting, most opportunity-filled time to be a young person maybe ever in American history. I, I really believe that. Like, my excitement and my enthusiasm and the optimism I feel runs through, you know, runs through the blood that runs through my veins every day. And a lot of people say, Jesse, how could you be so optimistic? How could you be so excited at a time where our country is facing so many massive challenges, right? We're, we're in the worst economic situation we've been in since the Great Depression. We are facing a major energy crisis in this country and around the world. We're fighting two wars abroad. Jesse, you know, we're, we're facing international conflict. Jesse, how are you possibly optimistic? And, and I point to the fact that with crisis and with challenge comes the opportunity for leaders to emerge and for our entire generation to define itself. We, not every generation is lucky enough to live through such difficult times, right? We're lucky in that way. We have a chance to say, you know what? There are, is a lot of tough stuff facing us. And we are going to take those challenges, and we are going to be at the forefront of solutions. Watch what we can do. Take our lead. And that's exciting, right? There are millions and millions of us all across this country at universities and college campuses, young professionals. And there is nothing, there is no limit to the potential and possibility of what we can all do together. We actually are that powerful to change the course of our country and change the course of a nation. So how do I think we would do that? Well, let's look at, at, at some of the change this generation has already made. This is the time where all of you sitting at these tables around the room should be able to pat yourselves on the back a little bit. This election we'd had, it was a pretty historic election, the election of 2008. And yes, it was historic because we elected a guy named Barack Obama that the country is very excited about. And yes, it's exciting because we elected a new Congress, a new House, a new Senate. But I'll tell you why I was excited about the election of 2008. I was excited because 25 million young people 25 million young people, 18 to 29, went out to vote. More young people voted in the election of 2008 than any other presidential election since 18-year-olds got the right to vote. You know what that means? That means we decided who went into the White House. We decided who sat in, in Congress, in seats in the House and the Senate. That means we are a pretty powerful generation, and good job for us for recognizing that it was time for us to stand up and engage in the electoral process and make sure that our country heard our voices. And you know what? It's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. So we're a powerful demographic altogether. Individually, we might wake up in the morning thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much I want to do, but I'm just one person. And we have to remember that we're not just one person. We are a community of students here at NSU. You are a community of young people across the great state of Oklahoma, and you are part of an unbelievable millennial generation, the most diverse generation.